Hey, I'm Steven. In this quick video, I'm going to walk through creating a skill for Amazon Alexa. And um, I'm going to do that using a template and I'm going to move pretty quickly. I'm not going to dive into the, the details, but I'm going to show you as quickly as I can uh, how easy it is to, to set a skill up using one of the, uh, the templates that Amazon provides. So there's a couple of things that you'll need to make this happen. You will need uh, an account at the Amazon developer portal and you can get that by going to developer.amazon.com. You will also need an Amazon Web Services account and you can get that by going to aws.amazon.com. And those will, if you have a, an Amazon account, you can use your Amazon account to, to, uh, to tie uh, or to set it up with. And um, the AWS, when you sign up for AWS, you're uh, gonna need to provide a credit card, but there's a free tier. So nothing that we're doing in, in this video is going to incur any charges. So uh, although you provide your credit card, you both of these accounts should be free. So um, let's go ahead and get started. Oh, one other thing, you're gonna need to um, uh, get some, some code that they provide uh, through GitHub. Actually, we're not gonna use the code on GitHub, but we are gonna use uh, some, some information on GitHub. So if you go to github.com slash Alexa, uh, we're gonna use, what are we gonna use? We're gonna use, um, uh, we're gonna use this, the fax template, I think, yeah. Uh, so if you go there and find the um, skill sample fact template for Node.js, uh, this we're going to get some uh, some uh, copy and paste some some stuff from here. Um, actually, and when you go here, if you look at the README, all of the steps that I'm going through are, are right in here in a lot more detail too. So you can read through them as well if you want to do that once you go over there. Uh, but let's uh, let's go ahead and jump in and, and do this and see if we can get it done in under ten minutes. So. Um, once you've created your AWS account, you need to go ahead and sign in. Uh, and after signing in, um, we're going to use Lambda again to, to do this. And so if you're not uh, familiar with AWS or the first time that you logged in, if you go to the services menu and then under the compute section, you can choose Lambda. And I'm not going to talk about what's going on here again so that we can move fast. I'm just going through the steps. I'll, I'll cover this in uh, another video or provide links to some more detailed uh, videos that other people have provided that uh, we'll, we'll talk about what's going on here. But for uh, moving quickly and, and getting your skills set up, you can choose one of the, the blueprints. Um, we're going to use Node.js. So here, just select Node.js 4.3. 4 and then we're going to use this one here, the fax skill uh, for Node.js. And so if you click on this, this is like a, a template that's ready to go. Um, next, we're going to uh, set it up so that the, um, the skills kit triggers that the Lambda function that we're creating here. Here, if you click, you can pick the uh, Amazon skills kit. If you don't see that as one of the options, it's possibly because you are in a region where it's not supported. Um, so if you don't see it, uh, just change your region up here. And if you wanna make sure that it works, just choose US East, the North Virginia region. That works. Um, and actually for just messing around with it, that's, you know, US West works also, but um, that's just an easy way to make sure that it's gonna, gonna work. Just choose next from there and then give your function a name. And I'm going to call this um, demo, uh, uh, demo skill. Uh, we can leave everything else the same. You'll see the code that's provided in the template here and you can uh, poke around in there and take a look at it. It's, it's all pretty straightforward. Uh, if you're familiar with JavaScript, it's going to be very straightforward. And if you know Node, it's going to be even easier for you. I'm not going to get into that right now, but um, it's there. This is a space fax. The example is providing space fax. The, the only thing that um, uh, I do want to talk a second about is this down here, which is the, uh, the role. You can leave the index handler. You don't need to worry about that. But the role here, the first time, if you're just setting up uh, an AWS account or just setting up um, a Lambda function for the first time, it's going to, you can just leave the default and it'll like step you through creating the uh, uh, the role that you're going to need. Um, I've done that, so I'm going to just leave it as choose an existing role. And the role that it creates for you is this one, I think, yeah, um, is uh, Lambda basic execution. And, and this is going to give the function the permissions that it needs to, to run. 
and so we can just select that. We can leave the, the rest default and then just go next and review here and then create function. And this should give us what we need and it did. And so now we're actually done over here. So we've got the, uh, the back end set up for our Alexa skill. So now we're gonna move over and uh, configure it. So now we're gonna go to the developer portal. So go to developer.amazon.com and uh, create an account if you haven't. And uh, once you have, you can go ahead and sign in. And uh, there we go. Once you're signed in, uh, go to the Alexa menu here, the Alexa tab up top. And you've got two options. I'm not going to talk about the differences between these right now. Um, we're setting up an Alexa uh, skill using the Alexa skills kit. So just go ahead and select that to get started and um, choose the add a new skill button up here. All right, this is where we're configuring Alexa, the Alexa service to uh, interact with our Lambda backend. But first we got to set up our, our skills. So, uh, I'm going to call this demo skill, uh, which is going to be the name. And then the invocation name is the uh, the name that um, you're going to use to in invoke this when you're talking to Alexa. So Alexa, open whatever the, the name is, and we're going to say demo skill also. And typically, these these are the same. So the, the name and the invocation name are the same. Uh, the invocation name you can just do in lowercase. The rest of this, for this example, you don't need to worry about. We'll come back to that in a future video or I'll leave um, some links to some more detailed walkthroughs. Uh, we, we do need the intent scheme and the sample utterances and we can get those from the uh, GitHub repo examples and you can get those in the speech assets folder. And this isn't actually code that gets put up there. Uh, so we just need to copy and paste this. So if you go into the intent schema here uh, you can copy and paste this json uh, and go back over here and we'll paste that in like this and the same thing down here for the sample utterances i'm going to go back over here to the speech assets and uh, i'm going to choose the us utterances here in english for right now and uh, uh, go back over here paste them in just for our quick and dirty example. And then uh, that's it for right now, we go next. And at this point, uh, we're gonna set up the connection between the um, voice service and the backend, which in our case is a Lambda function. So you've got two options here. You can um, use a Lambda function or you can um, connect to uh, an HTTP S server that can speak um, JSON or respond with JSON, receive and respond JSON. So it could really be anywhere, but using Lambda makes it super simple. You don't have to worry about setting up the um, SSL certificates and all that. In our case, um, we're working in the North America region here. So I'm going to choose North America. And here I need the resource name, the Amazon resource name, which is here. Um, so the ARN, and we're just going to copy that like this. Um, and this is back over at AWS for your function that you created, your Lambda function. And then if you go back over here and paste that in, uh, that should be it. <clears throat> okay, and at this point, it's all up and ready to go. So uh, here you can test it in the developer portal just using one of the utterances. So if you go over here and like just take any one of these or obviously you can type it in as well um, like that. And then if, uh, if all is set up correctly, when we choose uh, ask demo skill, this will show you the, the response that, or the request, excuse me, that's being created and the, the response that's coming back from our uh, Lambda function over here. So you can see um, the request was a space fact, fact and, uh, and I got a response here. So now let's go ahead and, and actually test it with Alexa. So here we go. Alexa, open demo skill. 
Here's your fact, despite being farther from the sun, Venus experiences higher temperatures than Mercury. Okay, so it all worked. So real, uh, real quick uh, recap. Uh, if you go to the GitHub slash Alexa, you can get mm -hmm. access to the uh, different skills templates that are provided. You'll need a, an AWS account and a Amazon Developer Portal account and just walk through, um, walk through these steps and you can have a skill set up. I think we're under 10 minutes. If you have any questions, you can post them and I will try to respond as quickly as I can. And I'll, I'll also uh, leave some links to some more in-depth videos. And uh, at some point, I will try to provide some more in-depth videos myself. But uh, for now, I'll link to some other ones that are out there. Thanks so much and have fun uh, developing your first Alexa skill.